Previously, we completed our stair railing, but the inspector won't approve our permit until we complete this final step. Like if you fell, you just <gasps> ah! And just like all of our other projects, we're learning as we go. And we are winging it. Once the handrail is complete, it's time to start the stairs to our deck, which means we're going to need a concrete pad. If I can get the excavation done, then we can start mixing concrete. Follow along as we finish preparations for moving into our house. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss a moment of the build. All right, our blinds project is done. So we are on to the next thing in our house, which is a content, whoa, everybody. It is a continuous handrail on this side. It's something you have to have in your house to have that temporary certificate of occupancy to be safe going up and down your stairs. And although we have this side all completed, it is not continuous because it has the posts coming up. So we actually already have the first two, one at this end and one at the top, the first two brackets all set up. So we only need to put two more on, then we can get that all connected. The hard part is going to come when we have to finish it and get it a little wraparound corner here, which actually shouldn't even be that hard. So we're gonna work on that and get it busted out today. Does that feel so stable right there? Yeah. Well, you're good. Like if you fell, you just. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, I think it feels good. Great. 44 and a half from here. Yes. Having a glue party. My dad always says you don't need as much as you think you do. Super scary. Can nail through your finger. I don't like doing that. <laughs> oh, I don't like when you do it. I don't know how else to do it. I don't know either. One of two railings done. Boo! I didn't <laughs> know there were two. You did. You just forgot. <sighs> I got really excited because I was like, yay, we're done with this project. And then Ryan was like, we have to do it on the little lower stairs before it turns. And I was like, no. So I guess we got to do that. All right, go down and put your hand on that rail, just like all, all kind of elderly like. It feels pretty solid. All right, yesterday you guys saw us put in our long handrail for our long set of stairs, and now we have to deal with this small set of stairs back here, which when Ryan informed me yesterday, just like, crushed my soul because I thought we were done with this project. So anyway, we are back. We're going to get this all finished. We have actually cut the banister at the, is it called a banister everybody? I keep saying that and I think I'm wrong. But anyway, we have cut the handrail to the length that we believe we want it to be. Ryan is cutting a small piece of wood that can help us measure. And we're going to get this thing all, all put up. Okay, so the first, so I can do like first let me put it up here as you're holding it up. So I can get a little reference. Hmm. I don't even know what we're doing here. You're doing 
the freedom construction. There is a way to do this, and somebody has taught it on YouTube. And we are winging it. On our previous railing, we tried putting up the railing and then adding the returns after we had this mounted. And it worked okay, except for like there was one spot where we had like a little 16th that needed to be filled in. So this time we're gonna try actually attaching the returns first and then mounting everything together. I have no idea if this is the right way to do it. So if you know the right way, let us know in the comments. <laughs> All right, so first I'm going to glue it, we're going to pin it, and then once we get both sides up, then we'll mount it all together. Yeah. Sarah has told me that I used too much glue. Definitely don't need to do both sides. No? I don't think so. Okay, well, I'll just put this, just, just a little dab will do you. Dad, don't be afraid to come into the comments right now. Okay, now I need to like pin it. I think that might be the way to do it. But let's go find out. Pretty good. Cool. What do you think? I think we did it. You know what the kids are gonna wanna do? What? What out every kid wants to do on banisters Hang on. is swing. Yeah. Right? Go. Like this. I think Owen's gonna wanna jump from the top thing. He's gonna go like this and go like this and then use this to brace and jump down. Yeah. And hopefully this doesn't break. Jump! Oh my god, I think you almost just cracked it off the wall. <laughs> yeah. Not for a not for a dad to do. Building a house is a really stressful process, but one of the most stressful parts of it has actually been that it's isolating. Ryan and I are so focused on the build and getting this project completed that we rarely have time for friends and family the way that we used to in our everyday life. And there's just not a lot of people who have actually done what Ryan and I are doing with the process of building a house. So I can reach out to friends and tell them what's stressing me out and they'll listen. But since they haven't been there before, they can't actually help me organize all of my thoughts and emotions. That's when talking to a professional can be so beneficial. Lately on the build, I have felt so overwhelmed and quite frankly, have felt like giving up and hiring professionals to just finish the rest. But that's not what Ryan and I set out to do when we started this build. So I knew I needed to talk to somebody and I started working with a therapist from BetterHelp and it has been so helpful for me. I've been able to talk through all of these thoughts with my therapist and organize them and decide what I can fix and what I cannot fix and how I can manage these emotions and how I can complete this house build, but also feel happy while I'm doing it. It's been a relief to talk to somebody who listens and offers guidance without judgment. If you're in a situation where you're struggling, I highly recommend checking out BetterHelp. They're the sponsor of today's video. They make therapy more accessible and convenient by connecting you with licensed therapists online. With BetterHelp, you can have therapy sessions via phone, video chat, or even messaging, whatever works best for you. They have a network of over 30,000 licensed therapists for you to select from, so you're bound to find one that suits your needs. And one of my favorite parts of this whole process has been that it was super quick to get connected with the therapist. And if you're unhappy with your therapist for any reason at all, it's really easy to make a switch. 
Visit betterhelp.com forward slash one foot off the grid or enter one foot off the grid at checkout and you'll receive a discount on your first month of therapy. Remember that taking care of your mental health is just as important as taking care of any other aspect of your health and you don't have to face life's challenges alone. Head to the description of this video to grab that link and get a discount on your first month of therapy. Now let's get back to the build. You're like, lady, put some worms in, lady. Yeah, you really want the worms? I'll go get them. <laughs> All right, we are back outside for the build because it is time to replace these stairs. We put these stairs on as very, very temporary stairs, and I don't even think they would pass inspection for our temporary certificate of occupancy because the, I don't know what this part of the stair is actually called, but this top part is actually way too short. A human foot does not fit on it safely. It was actually a full set of stairs that was shipped with our cabin kit, and the cabin kit company realized these are no good. And when they realized that, they shipped out a whole different new set that does pass code, and that is what's actually installed in our house. So when my parents were coming to visit last summer, we were like, we need some stairs so people can get up and down this deck. We put these in temporarily, but now it's time for them to go, and we need to put in our real stairs for this deck before we get all of the railing done. So the real stairs are actually going to go right next to them. Don't worry, we will take these down. And the reason we're putting them right next to them is because right behind us, we have our Mr. Cool unit and those stairs would run right into it. So first up on the agenda is figuring out where the stairs are actually going to land and getting a concrete pad poured. So that is probably what we'll get done today. And then the stair building can happen and then we can actually get our railings put in where they're supposed to be on this side of the deck. So here we go. I think it's like right about here. that this dot will be where the very last stair comes down. Yeah. So then we need to go 36 inches in front of that. Yeah. You're right. Then we need 40 inches this way. Okay. Okay, so 40 inches that way. Then we want it to be like And then we need like the last corner. Have it to be 50, 40. Okay. All right, as Sarah mentioned, we are working on our concrete pad for our stair landing today. And before we could figure out kind of where that was gonna be positioned and how big it needed to be, we needed to determine the length and the run and rise of our stair stringers. So we did some calculations. It looks like we have about a 41 inch rise to go, which means we're gonna need about 50 inches of run overall. So that means we're gonna have uh, five runs and four rises. So. We've measured out on the ground here where we need our form to go. Sarah's back cutting some of the, cutting the form up. I'm gonna get busy excavating. And then once we have all that done, we can move into working on those uh, stair risers. So I'm gonna get to work. Hopefully Sarah can get that form done. And if I can get the excavation done, then we can start mixing concrete. We are at 
between the two lines. That's what we're going for. Okay. Gravel. Yeah, we did. Did we get like maybe too much gravel in there? Maybe, but we can uh, like put it off under the sides maybe. Or I could get the shovel. I get shovels. Yeah. Yeah, we could put them on there. Yeah, move the gravel over there, Ryan. <laughs> you feel like you're in a Zen garden? This is my favorite part. Yeah, I kind of like tamping. Yeah, it's hard, but... But it's not like hard like digging. No. All right, we have the forms done and it is all ready for concrete, but our son has a track meet and we have to leave in one hour, which means if we poured the concrete, we wouldn't be here to do the, the fancy brush finish at the right time. And we wouldn't be here to do the little fancy corners that make it look good. So we're going to have to wait till tomorrow morning to pour the concrete. So hopefully our bunnies don't come along and find this gravel because they really like to dig little burrows in gravel. <laughs> so we will see you tomorrow when we'll be pouring some concrete. We are back and we're gonna get this patio, I guess patio. It's actually a landing for some stairs. It'll be like a teeny tiny patio at the end of it, huh? Yeah, like a yeah. landing. Yeah, so we're it. gonna get that poured and I think that's all we're doing today because we've got a lot of computer work to do, you know, like editing a video for all of you to watch. Where do you want the wheelbarrow for all this? What did the one guy say, to put the water in first? Yeah, or at least a little some, bit of water. some of the water in first. Okay. Perfect. First load. There we go. Getting more. Don't breathe in. I thought you were ready for me. this edge. Okay, I think maybe that's as good as it gets.
Yeah, it's like that edge seemed very dry. This stuff seems a lot more wet. Put your broom at the edge and then pull forward. I don't know. Too soon, maybe. Might be, might be getting close, though. Mm hmm. That's how you're supposed to do it. I'm just your boss. You're just a, an apprentice. Yep, that's exactly how it's supposed to look. That's it, right there. That's the stuff. Now you're just. I I think it looks better than it did last time. Give it a good shake. Yep. Oh yeah. I think that one is actually where it's supposed to be. Yeah. I think that looks good. 